Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. We're on the road, and this is five things we love about Denver this time around. Well, if you've been following the channel at all, then you know that we are, as Julie said, on the road. And we want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we've discovered on the road that we've enjoyed. And yes, we're a whiskey channel. We are also traveling in a van. It's in the title. So we're going to share some of the things that we discovered in Denver, Colorado this time around. We are not in Denver right now, and mm -hmm. we are swarmed with bugs. What is... <laughs> come on, Iowa. What is with all these bugs? <laughs> Number one, Golden Gate Canyon State Park. This is a little bit outside of Denver, near Golden, Colorado. It takes about 45 minutes to get there. There are 42 miles of hiking trails. The trail we did was the Raccoon Trail, and it went to Panorama Point, and it was quite a view at the end. It's only four miles long. It's about 750 feet of elevation gain, and oh, by the way, you can just drive to the top if you don't feel like hiking it. We visited in late September. It's an excellent time to be there and watch the trees changing color, but it's a super busy trail, so come early or on a weekday if possible. Number two, the Cherry Creek Trail. For all you runners and bikers out there, this one's especially for you. I just put 20 miles in on it, and it is spectacular. The Cherry Creek Trail features 25 miles of nearly flat, unbroken trail. It runs along the creek and can be connected with other trails to go even longer. It's a great place to run if you're training for the marathon, and you don't want to stop for those pesky stop signs and stoplights and street crossings. You just keep going. I'm jealous. I wish we had it. It's an amazing trail. Yeah. Next on our list, is perfect for when you're done hiking, running, cycling, whatever your adventure, maybe nothing, Brewery Ricoli. Specifically, we enjoy Enormous Richard Double Cream Ale and Vanilla In Your Rye Stout. Both of them, coincidentally, are perfect for pairing with whiskeys. Also, these are crafted to remove gluten, so our gluten intolerant friends can enjoy as well. If you didn't replenish enough calories with the beer, this next one's for you, Post Oak Barbecue. Post Oak Barbecue on Tennyson Street in Denver. Incredible food menu. They claim this is true Texas style barbecue in Denver. We don't know anything about that. So if you've been there and you're from Texas, please let us know. In addition, this place has a phenomenal whiskey list. And as a matter of fact, it's where we tried the last item on our list. We couldn't have a list without a little bourbon on it. Mm -mm. It's the best whiskey we've had in Colorado. Leopold Brothers, bottled in bond, bourbon absolutely right aged five years and this is one that we don't have a bottle of we can't show it to you because we tried it at post oak barbecue on a recommendation from the gentleman behind the counter we asked for something local they brought out this bottle and it is absolutely phenomenal even our non-whiskey friend loved it it drinks easy at that hundred proof and it has incredible bourbon flavors incredible richness and if you like sweet bourbons which we definitely do we highly recommend this one and we never did track down a bottle of this stuff we actually even reached out to the distillery and never heard back so if anybody has any idea where we can find a bottle of the five-year aged bottled and bond bourbon from leopold brothers please let us know we have a hint that there may be some in illinois and we're headed your way that's right so we were only in Denver for a short time, but we found a couple things that we really loved that we wanted to share with you. Absolutely. And so now it's up to you. If you were just passing through Denver for two or three or four days, maybe, what are the can't miss things that you recommend? Let us know what you like to do, what you like to eat, what you like to drink. What are your favorites in Colorado? Let us know. It's one of our favorite states. So we'll definitely be back. Oh, absolutely. And if you want to see more of our travel content, you can join us on Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Check us out on Instagram at The Bourbon Van and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Yeah.